Catalytic converters scattered across the ground at the scene of an awful car crash this morning in Irving Park. Thankfully, everyone involved doing OK, but we found one of the cars involved in that crash matches a call about catalytic converter thefts just minutes earlier. New here at 5 o'clock, our Tara Molina is tracking the latest and digging into the growing problem here in Chicago and across the state. Chicago police say charges are still pending from the crash here, and right now they're not connecting that crash and catalytic converter thefts on the record. But video from the scene tells the story insurance companies tell us they're hearing over and over again. West Addison and Kimball blocked off overnight following an early morning crash. The black Infinity sedan involved destroyed. Around 2.45 in the morning, Chicago police say the driver of that black Infinity sped through the red light at Kimball, hitting the white Mazda in the intersection. We're told the man that was behind the wheel of that Mazda is doing okay. So is the driver of the car police say hit him and his two passengers. But our crews watched police sift through more than glass, rubble, and broken car parts at this scene. Our cameras rolled on police recovering a saw here and at least five catalytic converters. Chicago police aren't publicly connecting the dots just yet, so we looked and listened closer. Just minutes before, a couple blocks from here, a call to police from North Christiana Avenue. There's three male blacks and a black car trying to steal cat catalytic converters. Three men in a black car trying to steal catalytic converters. A worsening problem here in Chicago. Police don't track catalytic converter thefts specifically, but the companies processing the claims do. A spokesperson for State Farm Insurance told me the latest numbers they can compare from January and February show the thefts more than doubling in Illinois in the past year, with 76 filed in January 2021, 284 this year. With 3.5 million paid out in catalytic converter claims in Illinois last year, this year through April, they've already paid out 2 million, way up from pre-pandemic totals. I checked in with the alderman here on this. That's Carlos Ramirez Rosa. He told me like other neighborhoods in Chicago, they're seeing continued issues with these catalytic converter thefts. We'll continue to check in with Chicago police on the issue here. Reporting in Irving Park, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News. The Q Tara.